doing, Javi? She's back in the game with all her heart. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to hug every checker I come to and I'm going to let people know I appreciate them. A lot to appreciate here. When you consider Mike and Dee Dee John Rowe have rebuilt their home and much of their mushing operation in less than nine months. What's the takeaway from all of this? God is good. Same, same as I told you the first time you asked me. What do you take away from all of this? Yeah, God is good. Hey, no loss of life. Still, the losses seemed almost insurmountable. That was our famous roadhouse. We built that. While Mike put out hot spots. You know, we had puppies to grab and everything. Dee Dee camped out at Martin Boozer's home, focused on taking care of her team, despite the reporters who tried to keep up with her. I kept the most important thing, which was the heartbeats here, you know. I call it playing God. We could only move 20 at a time. The dogs, Dee Dee's top priority then. Yay for you, my love. And now. Yay for you. I love my dog so much that I let everything I own be destroyed for the love of the dogs. I am going to, by golly, enjoy them. <laughs> but be forewarned. I'm going to run it for the joy. Does that mean I don't intend to be competitive? That's part of my joy. If rebuilding her team and her life wasn't enough. I think this is the nicest thing. I Dee Dee mean, is still healing from the loss of her mother, who died from breast cancer not long after the fire. It wasn't all too long ago that Dee Dee herself battled breast cancer. Yet her mother encouraged her to follow her Iditarod dreams, and again, after the fire. So stick to the fight when your heart is hit. It's when things seem worse that you must not quit. After her death, Dee Dee found this poem among her mother's papers. The rocking chairs, the antique furniture, all of its moms. Her new home is furnished with her mother's belongings, a comfort along with this view from the window of renewal and transformation, accomplished by incredibly hard work. They're not really girly hands. I don't think anybody will say, oh, could you please hand model for me? Do you think that the fact that you had this really strong work ethic, has it helped you come this far on your new journey? Um, oh, no doubt, no doubt. But, you know, where did that work ethic come from? You know, you aren't really just born with a work ethic. It came from my mom and my dad. And the man Dee Dee married, a work ethic to match. He is extraordinary. Well, fire does a lot of interesting things. Mike says the fire has renewed his faith in the goodness of people. We live in an imperfect world, but through it all, you know, your faith can sustain you if you, if you just trust. Mike just had wrist surgery from the wear and tear during the rebuild process, which also blew out his knee. I mean, there's no alternative. You can't give up. There's more weight in here than I weigh. Dee Dee is down to 105 pounds. She lost about 15 since the fire. Say hi! Say hi! Come here, sweetie. Here you are, finally at the starting line. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you know, a lot of people didn't think I would make that. And a lot of people didn't know why the heck I was even trying. But I know Mama would have wanted me to try. All right, straight ahead. The stands of burned out spruce, a constant reminder this race is different. There's the loss of her tried and true mushing gear and equipment, decades of accumulation, and the loss of training miles on her team. First of all, there's people that, um, have done a lot longer runs, some of them coming off the quest, coming off the Copper Basin. Dee Dee says you won't see her leading the pack early in the race like she often does. I have to go into it a little slower. Five on her team have never run the Iditarod before. I think they're an awesome group of dogs. I, obviously, I love them to pieces. I want them to enjoy it. For Dee Dee, the comeback trail has been long and hard. Perseverance trail maybe would be the right word. Getting to know just might turn out to be the easy part.